Hello YouTube, my name is Digitasm and I am bringing you a uh, pretty neat tutorial here. Um, it's my, probably like, it was my first tutorial on this new channel, but it's probably about my third tutorial um, I've ever made. So, uh, what it's going to be on is how to make this effect uh, right here. <laughs> Pretty nice uh, effect I did this intro for a wrist drift or so exotic, whatever he is now. He's a friend of mine. Uh, and as you can see, when uh, the cube explodes, when the cube explodes, you can see the D right there uh, coming out of it. And then it just kind of floats on to meet up with the rest of the word. So, yep, that's what we're going to be doing today. I already have a scene set up with a floor and... I have Motex there, it's not completely right, we'll just do D, okay, D's there, now we're going to get a cube, put it up there, and I prefer to raise it to, well I did 300 in the video, but we'll do 250, it's just, oh my bad, it just has to be enough to cover the letter, and we're going to move it up. We're going to move the mo text up just a bit. Okay. So now you want to try to get the mo text kind of centered in the box. Then you're going to take the cube. You're going to add a fillet. And this is just my preference. I kind of add a fillet and then move it down. So it just kind of gives you a smoother looking cube. Find edges. And uh, then we're going to go to... We're going to click the cube. It'll plugins. Throwsy. Uh, pretty much everyone has Throwsy. But if you don't have it... Just type in how to get Throwsy. Uh, it's free. So I'm going to give it 35 pieces. The more pieces, the better because it's more appealing to the eye when it has more pieces. It's not cool to just see three pieces fly around. You know what I mean? So uh, as you can see, it just kind of falls. Um, now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to switch the uh, cube... We're gonna switch. You're gonna gonna go to the dynamic tag on the cube. Go to trigger. Switch to on collision. Uh, and then after that's done, you're gonna take the Motex and you're gonna wanna uh, get rid of the D and then hold Control and click on the tab next to text until it's red. You're gonna keep frame that as well, not as zero. You're gonna wanna let's say I want it at 70 frames. I'm gonna keyframe frame at 69. And then go right to 69. Go right to 70. And just uh, shift D. And there you go. You just hit control again until the circle's red. So now, oh, and also you want to go to Motex, right click, dyna Dynamics Body, and also change that to on Collision. Now, what's going to happen here is uh, there's no text there. So the cube does not know. There's nothing there, it's just thinner. So now, you should get this. Oh, uh, I almost forgot one thing. Uh, this was confusing me when I first did it. What you want to do also is um, when the D is there, you want to keyframe at like 71 frames just to move over a tad bit, just a little bit. Because uh, when the text, uh, when the text comes in, um, to the cube, uh, it does not move. So as far as the cube concerns, there's still, as far as the cube is concerned, there still is nothing there. So you're gonna make move it just a tad. So now this should work. And okay, it did not move that far. Let's go to 72 frames. Let's keyframe it a little more. Okay, now let's try that. There it is. Okay. Big explosion. Big explosion. Now, um, obviously, with that huge explosion, you can't tell where anything is, right? As you can see, though, the D is kind of just flying in that. Day. One bad thing about this is that um, your letter will go wherever it wants to go freely. Like, my D just having to fly up real cool, like, but it was upside down, so it was a, it was a bitch trying to adjust the camera angle. So, um... What you can do, well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to 72 frames. I set it back, and I'm going to go to 72. And I'm going to change it so it just moves a little bit less. I'll move it up instead. So now let's see what that does. 
Okay, that should have made that probably made it fly up. Now what you want to do is you want to go to edit, and then go to project settings or hit, uh, or you can just hit control control D. Okay, then you want to go to dynamics, and in the journal we see a time scale. The time scale is at 100. That's normal speed. And what you want to do is you want to go to about seven. Okay, it's at 72. Okay, 73 frames is where you can see the D's coming out. So we're going to keyframe 100% at 73 frames. Now, it does not show a keyframe up, but that still means it's there. Now, what you don't want to do is you don't want to keyframe it at 100% at zero. Because what's going to happen is that you're going to need to keyframe it 100% right before you keyframe it lower. To give it that effect that it just kind of stops. You know, just... Okay, I, I don't know how that was an example, but you get my point. Um, so, but what happens is if you keyframe at 100% at zero and then 100% at 73, it's going to go up. It's going to go 100% to like 107, then back down. It's going to mess the whole thing up. Now, if you go from 73 to 74, and then you lower it down to let's say 0 0.01, which is very very slow, which is actually how you want it. Keyframe that. Now, what it the look it should give, it should just slow it down right away. See, let's see that? It kind of gives a... It's a little bit of an unrealistic effect, but, um... You guys get what I'm saying. It's just a tutorial. So, um... But you guys get the get the gist of it. Um, this explosion came a little bit different. The, the bad part about this, making this intro, is that the explosion does kind of whatever it wants to do. Now, the explosion in this is a lot faster and more, uh, crazy... Uh, misconstrued than the the collision in my original intro. The collision in my original intro, the D was pretty much in the picture the whole time. It did not explode and go flying everywhere. Uh, you know, so I, I could I could let the I could let the fast explosion happen for more frames. But this one, it's a little bit. But you know, you guys get the gist of it. Um, it's basically you want a couple frames for it to be fast, and then you just kind of want to lower the time scale down to give it the time freeze frame. Um, and, uh, one more thing, um, the, where the letter goes, you cannot control in this intro, uh, while making this, so, um, I recommend making it, the letter move up a little bit, that tends to put it up in the air, but, um, yeah, see, as you can see, it just kind of floats there, now, um, okay, uh, we have a little bit of an unrealistic, uh, kind of, transition here from fast to slow but like I told you guys um uh it depends on the explosion you might have to get this a few times before you get a more calm explosion but for the sake of this tutorial we're just going to keep it like this and then after the and then the rest of the what time are we at hold on uh, we're gonna get it to about right there okay and what time are we at we're at eight minutes okay we're gonna speed this up um if you want to find a key a frame that you want the text to come in all right, for mine is at 157. Uh, I'm going to hit Motex and we're going to say Indigi. Okay, uh, 100 and a font army. Okay, and basically what you want to do is you want to line up this font with uh, the rest of the word. And when you have that done, is that lined up? No, not even close. Uh, when you have that lined up, okay, that's fine. Now, oh yeah, that's perfect. Well, not perfect, but good enough. Once you have that lined up, what you want to do is um, you want to while it's clicked, go to MoGraph Effector, Random Effector, and uh. Make all this zero, zero, zero. Click rotation. Make all that zero. Uh, you could just click this, or I guess not. I don't know. I like to click all of them. Uh, set that for 157, and then go back to zero. And uh, for the distance, I just put in something crazy like 5,000. You know, six. Just so that way, it's completely off screen for the entire time. And then for rotation, you can just put in random numbers, negative. Uh, 231, 
147 and 190, just, you know, random numbers. And then, you know, control, click all those so it says zero. So now what you'll get is this. Uh, once you have the thing, oh yeah, and of course, as a uh, as the D moves, you will have to move the text accordingly with it. Um, so just uh, it matches up with the D, but then the D moves. So you have to just take this and the you know keyframe the text itself, not the random effector, but the text itself to match up with the letter. All right, guys. So that uh, that just about does it for this tutorial. Um, like I said, uh, everything in this is very random. Uh, the explosion goes wherever it wants. The letter will go wherever it wants. Uh, so you just gotta kind of keep messing with it till you get some you feel with, you feel right with, and then you know texturing and everything is up to you. Uh, I'm up to 11 minutes now. This is going on way too long. I'm sorry, but I'm kind of new to the tutorials. Thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, favorite, do whatever you want. Have a bowl of cereal. I don't care. Alright guys, thanks for watching again. See ya.